The automotive industry is made up of many segments, from hatchbacks to SUVs. But refine your search to electric vehicles and your options can be pretty limited. Business owners and dreamers alike, listen up as we explore some of the most luxurious EVs available today. Think of luxury limousines and you're probably picturing the Mercedes S-Class. Its range of large engines are smooth and powerful, but are not the cleanest when it comes to emissions. The German car maker addressed this in 2021, following the success of the EQC with the brand new EQS. At over 5.2 meters long, its dimensions are almost identical to the S-Class it wishes to one day replace. Entry-level EQS 450 Plus leaves the driver wishing little, with over 330 horsepower and almost 570 newton meters of torque helping the rear-wheel drive car and its heavy batteries sprint to 62 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds. An all-wheel drive model, the EQS 584 Matic, has over 520 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque, which makes it good for 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds. But if that's not fast enough, we're told a 760 horsepower model is in the works, likely to be tuned by the AMG Performance Division. A slick drag coefficient of 0.202 means the EQS is extremely aerodynamic, and the fact that up to 60% of the car's braking abilities can be covered by the motor's regeneration and not by the brake pads helps the EQS achieve a real-world range of over 470 miles. When it comes to charging, the 107.8 kWh battery can receive up to 200 kilowatts of power from rapid chargers. This means 186 miles in as little as 15 minutes. Fast charging runs at a rate of 11 kilowatts, although a 22 kilowatt bi-directional charger makes for an interesting upgrade. Over-the-air software updates promise refined and new features and even upgrades to the battery management software over time. A charcoal-coated HEPA filter reduces harmful sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide particles while reducing odours, while rear-wheel steering helps achieve a tighter turning circle. Inside, an optional hyperscreen fits three displays behind a single piece of glass on the dashboard a 12-inch instrument panel, an 18-inch media system, and an extra 12-inch control panel for the front passenger. Pricing for the EQS will reflect high-end models of the S-Class, which helps affirm the company's commitment to getting its drivers into electric vehicles. That's about $80,000, although this is to be confirmed. Similarly priced at $80,000 is the Taycan, by rival premium German company Porsche. A pair of models are currently available, the 680 horsepower Turbo and the 760 horsepower Turbo S. Both are good for 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.2 and 2.8 seconds respectively, although range is significantly poorer at 280 miles. Regardless, this is the car that made Bill Gates call Tesla underwhelming. Although a similarly sized 93.4 kilowatt hour battery is employed, the car is set up more for sporting than comfort. A drag coefficient value of 0.22 is nothing to be frowned at, but 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour is far from ideal. Jump in the Taycan and you can understand why. Instant torque is sent to all four wheels through a pair of gearboxes, a single speed transmission on the front axle and a two speed transmission on the rear axle to provide a perfect balance between acceleration and high speed efficiency. Adaptive air suspension helps iron out any bumps in the road too. Inside, the cabin makes for Porsche's first leather-free offering, made of recycled and sustainable materials. The 366-litre boot offering is not much larger than a family hatchback, but an additional 81 litres in the front are great for weekend bags or even the charging equipment. An 11 kilowatt onboard charger is nothing special, but DC charging reaches an astonishing 270 kilowatts. While it remains a concept, it's likely that the car that follows will be largely similar to this electric A6, which isn't dissimilar from sister company Porsche's Taycan. The A6 has been available in almost every engine combination possible – petrol, diesel, mild hybrid, full hybrid and plug-in hybrid – so it makes sense that electric comes next. Headline figures are 0.22 drag coefficient and 100 kilowatt battery and 270 kilowatt rapid charging, which can add 186 miles in 10 minutes. Over 470 horsepower and 800 newton meters are enough for most drivers, while a 435 mile range is a promising start. Seen and be seen is Audi's focus for the electric A6 concept, which has a mix of LED and OLED headlights and taillights for maximum features to be displayed on minimum space. LED projectors hidden in each corner, for example, project turn signals onto the road. There's no indication of pricing yet, but it's expected that it could launch as early as 2022 alongside a similar Porsche model. 
This four-door, five-seater saloon takes on an efficient coupe design, similar to the four-series Grand Coupe on which it is loosely based. Pricing of less than $50,000 will put it up against the likes of the Tesla Model 3, while its engine offerings are likely to be both strong and efficient too. A 530 horsepower M Performance version compares to the company's current range of V8 engines, promising 0 to 62 miles per hour in around 4 seconds in the first ever electric Grand Coupe. A 360 mile range is made possible thanks to a battery capacity of around 80 kilowatts, although the company hasn't ruled out a cheaper model with around half the range for everyday owners. Charging of 100 50 kilowatts should be possible, which is already offered by many current electric models. Outside is very much a story of love or hate. The tall kidney grille and narrow headlights have already been seen on other electric and internal combustion models, but the inside is likely to be spacious and logically laid out. After all, this will be a car aimed at families who like to live a life of luxury. The American automaker has already proclaimed that it can take on supergiant Tesla, and the Air is its first offering. It's a luxury limousine that offers everything a car of this caliber should and could. 19.2 kilowatt bi-directional charging is great for regular charging, and a better offering than most electric cars on the market. But it's the DC charging speeds that knock out all competition. 300 kilowatts promises charging speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour. Entry-level pure models are equipped with 480 horsepower, but 620 horsepower might be more appealing to drivers who are willing to pay more for the Touring model. Grand Touring offers 800 horsepower, but it's the dream edition that is out of this world. Its 1080 HP powertrain makes strong competition for the Model S Plaid. The most efficient model promises almost 520 miles of range, while the fastest reaches 62 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, so there's a model for every need. The all-wheel drive saloon has seating for five, a cavern 456 litre boot and a small car rivaling 202 litre frunk. Over the air software updates come as standard, while the premium audio system is made up of 21 speakers and Alexa integration. The driver's view of the road is underlined by a pair of 5K displays measuring 34 inches. One of these can be yours from $70,000, but high spec models reach higher than $160,000. While Polestar may be a new company in its own right, it existed for many years before as the performance division for Volvo, tuning the likes of the S60, V60 and even the T8 plug-in hybrid setup used in later cars. The limited-run Polestar 1 tested the waters in 2017 in plug-in hybrid form, while three years later, the all-electric 2 was launched for around $40,000, about the same price as a Tesla Model 3. Standard and long-range models are front-wheel drive. Both have around 230 horsepower and 330 newton meter of torque and reach 62 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds, almost hot hatch territory. A long-range dual motor variant is also available, with almost 410 horsepower and double the torque, which means it can do the 0 to 62 mile per hour sprint in a respectable 4.7 seconds. All models achieve around 270 and 330 miles of range, with a pair of 64 and 78 kilowatt hour batteries providing the energy. Key to any EV's success, especially in marking it as one for luxury owners, is future-proofing. Cars can look old in a matter of months, so maintaining a fresh design and updated tech is key. While owners can't change how the car looks after a few years, over-the-air software updates promise tons of new features. In fact, since launching, Polestar has announced plans to release a video app for the in-car screen and a digital key that's stored on the phone. As Polestar pushes its tech forward, many affordable brands such as Volkswagen with its ID range are struggling to keep up. While it may technically be an SUV, we couldn't make a video on luxury EVs without mentioning the Jaguar I-Pace. Despite its body shape, it's actually more of a high-riding saloon, with many of the car's components tucked away underneath. The 400 horsepower setup is good for 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds, while the dual motors and all-wheel drive make good use of the 700 newton meters of torque. Power is drawn from a 900 kilowatt hour battery, which can be charged by up to 11 kilowatts of power on AC or 100 kilowatts on DC. Nothing ridiculously fast, but remember, this is just a normal family car that aims to please the more wealthy. Air suspension irons out the road ahead and even lowers by 10 millimeters at speeds of over 65 miles per hour to help reduce drag. The air ionization equally provides the best comfort against dust and pollen. Owners can pack their laptop in a 27 litre frunk and after that all important meeting, the 650 56 litre boot has more than enough space for all the wild swimming gear. Worried about taking your key in the water or leaving it in a locker out of sight? Meet Jaguar's Activity Key, a water and shockproof wristband that means the conventional key can be locked away in the car. 
How could we make this video without mentioning possibly the first mainstream luxury EV, the Tesla Model S? It launched around a decade ago and still looks fresh today. Fortunately, it has undergone a tech overhaul recently to help keep competition away, which involves a new 17-inch landscape display and an automatic gearbox that knows the correct direction of travel based on a variety of sensors and the onboard sat-nav. The car's computer has 10 teraflops of processing power, with a heavy focus on gaming. Multi-device Bluetooth and wired and wired charging for every passenger's phone means that nobody is left forgotten about. Numbers? There's plenty of them. 22 speakers with sound cancellation, 12 ultrasonic sensors, a front radar with 160 meters of vision, and 360 degree cameras to help with advanced autopilot. Oh, you meant numbers about the car. 670 horsepower, 420 mile range, and a 0 to 62 mile per hour in 3.1 seconds. Impressed? That's the entry-level dual-motor all-wheel drive long-range model. Tri-motor Plaid models use over 1,000 horsepower to reach 62 miles per hour in under two seconds, while Plaid Plus adds more range. 250 kilowatt charging is standard, as is the $80,000 to $170,000 price tag. If you are in need of a luxurious car to transport yourself, the family, and all the gear that doesn't cost the earth to run and helps reduce emissions in the meantime, which of these would be your first choice?